Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a basic pipe network just like the one that you're seeing on the screen right now. So as you can see I have a surface already and I also have an alignment and a profile of the existing surface. And if you don't know how to create a surface and if you don't know how to create an alignment or profiles then you can check out my other videos in my channel and they should be able to help you out. So to create a pipe network, it is actually super simple because we already have our alignment set up here, which you can see here. And so all we have to do is click on pipe network, select create pipe network from objects. And we can just click on our alignment here. And you can see that Civil 3D is showing the flow direction and I'll click OK for this. And so here you can see that I already have a list of predefined part lists as I'm using the Australia and New Zealand country kit which I've included in the description of this video. And so the pipe that I'm going to create is a 225 reinforced concrete rubber ring joint class 2 pipe. And the menu here is asking me if I want to create a structure. I'm just going to click null structure which means that I'm just going to draw the pipe and I'm not going to have any manholes or anything like that. And here I can just select the existing ground level surface and the alignment, I'll just select the alignment I have which is CL-2. And then I'm just going to click OK and you can see the pipe has been created. And we can just take a look at what this looks like in the object viewer. So if I just select the surface as well as the pipe and I right click, click on object viewer, you can see that this is what my pipe looks like. So we can also draw this pipe on the profile view that we have here. And to do that, just click on the profile and we'll just go to draw parts in profile view then I can just select the network that I'd like to add to the profile view. So I'll just click on the pipe here, press enter, and then I'll just select the profile view. And you can see that our pipe has been projected onto the profile view, which is really cool. So you can see here that our pipe is a bit too shallow, so we'd like a bit more cover for the pipe. So let's just say we want a meter of cover here. So if I just go to this point and draw a circle with a radius of one meter, and so let's just lower our pipe a little bit so that we have at least a meter of cover here. So to do that, we can lower the upstream invert level of this pipe. So if I click on the pipe here, and I go to the right, if I drag this out a little bit, you can see that I can customize the start invert elevation and the end invert elevation. And so if I hover over this blue square over here, you can see that it's telling me that that is the start point. And this side, this end, is the end point. So I can just go here and lower this value by a little bit to give our pipe more cover. So let's just say I'll lower it to something like 16.5 meters. Okay, cool. So now you can see that our pipe has more cover than before and it's a bit more than one meter in this area of the surface. So here you can see that I also have a band, but it doesn't have any data showing the invert levels of the pipe. So to change to this, I can just click on the profile view, go to profile view properties. And so I'll just go here and select the data source and the pipe that we just created belongs to network two and not network one. So I'll just select that here and I'll just click apply and hit okay. 
And you can see now that the start invert elevation and the end invert elevation of our pipe is now being shown on the profile view. In order to figure out which network your pipe belongs to, just click on the pipe and select network properties and go to information and you can see that our pipe belongs to network 2 here. And, and it also tells you here as our pipe name is network 2 P2 which stands for network 2 pipe 2 although it is slightly difficult to read. So yeah that's it for this video and I hope this video was useful to you and thank you for watching.